Mr. Um, Kudus, we were told the uh, um, price of crude on the world market, you know, it had dropped in mm -hmm. the last few weeks. And so for most Ghanaians, you know, not say, I'm going to do pump, um, first pricing window now. They would expect to see, say, prices, you know, up or down. As we speak, the prices, interestingly, have skyrocketed um, from um, some 10.99 into the 11th. What has um, caused rise and an increase now in the pump? No? Um, me that's it. Na, ma min chia wo ni wo chie fo wanyi na. Na, em, hmm, Petro, uh, uh, asem na nye, straight forward, se sa, and then when, um, wo se, um, crude prices, a koswa, na, um, the same implication is in Ghana, and as a, eba fo ma, na wanyi sa implication, and nye, Straightforward, that because and yet crude unquana yeto, and in fact because the refineries in Ghana one amu ichada en en juma ana the capacity no end the level to which they can meet the consuming needs of the Ghanaian public no. You do ano eh amu ek amu the refined products no amu the eba. Omon Omon talk roots. And this so omu kwa BDC B or kwa kwa petrol kwa this or kwa maybe a kwa diesel on kwa and t is the refined product, not the crude. Mm. And their pricing dynamics are different. So Uber talk crude there, that one is standardized. But the eba um diesel and if uh, petrol the pricing dynamics are different. So let me explain uh, diesel, for example. Okay. Diesel, uh, uh, the needs of Europe were being met by about 40% from the supply of Russia. And uh, the war in Ukraine, uh, 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 between Russia and Ukraine, and then the subsequent sanctions are taking off that 40%. The uh, uh, Europe from Russia and it, it it then means that the commodity that is left or the the quantity that is left for uh, the Europe and for that matter the rest of the world you know, above home and the basic economists will tell you or will tell us all of us that anytime supplies actually fall uh, prices are likely to go up because there would be a rush for the scarce commodity and the uh, diesel in the last window across from even though crude on the world market above from and like i said you know most of the bdc's you know about 90 percent of the consumption that we have you know, a finished product you no know, almost the extra apart from uh, 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 what do you call the outside the country and the and your crude so if you look at the movement of the prices of diesel from the last window to the current window, no, a mm. And it has gone up because of the shortage of supply that Russia, uh, 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 the, 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 the part of Russia that is supposed to always come into the market, that is not coming, and the a So when I saw a projection by one of the uh, oil uh, what the NGOs suggesting that Prices should be coming down between eight and four percent. Frankly, my heart jumped because I knew that that was a misleading statement to actually make. Mm. Because it is not crude that we buy into the country; it is the finished product. So, even though the crude on the world market would have gone down, you should also be checking: has the finished product gone down or gone up or remain same? Then you can make your projection. Mr. So that was the issue that actually confronted all of us. But the truth of the matter is that on the world market, you know, now uh, finished production and the prices are cost so. Mm. But petrol, apart from Kakra, the price of petrol on the world market came down a little. But Mami, Enter and KBB, you see, two things mainly affect the push of the price of this product. One is their prices on the international market, and then two 
is the exchange rate. So if the price actually reduces, but the exchange rate of the CD depreciated against the dollar, you are likely not to see the, the, the impact. Because uh, the two new and the uh, driving the price. Okay, and then another a critical component that has come into the frame now that used not to be there is the cost of transport. And also, for some unexplained reason, it keeps going up when you speak to the BDs. Mm. And the, the present dynamics, you know, and she had the yes, that's faithful. That's why we, on our part as NPA, we are speculating on changes of prices at all. We cannot them. We just want you to go there because the commodity and its pricing you know, are uh, public. And yes, uh, you go and hide somewhere and buy something. Mm. So when you go to buy from a source, we know how, how much you bought it. We know how much it mm. costs you to get the dollar to go and bring it. We know how much it costs you to transport the product into the country. Then together, we can determine how much you should be selling the product. And to share the amended act of the NPA in 2015, which now took pricing away from NPA and gave it to the private sector. What NPA is supposed to always do is that to ensure that the prices are fairly determined mm. and the consumer is not shortchanged or overcharged or overpriced. And so that is what we basically do. So, Ms. Reka, it's not that straightforward that because crude has actually come down, then automatically the prices of the product should be coming at the end. Yeah. And yes, that's straightforward. Yeah, Mr. Kudus, um, yeah, but yes, yeah, sir, it's not straightforward. But the argument that has been advanced on most occasions, and they say, um, there's one variable uh, that is beyond the control of anybody that is the world market price mm -hmm. and indeed osha the last pricing window before this one could uh, was mm -hmm. selling at about uh, 124 dollars per barrel in mm -hmm. the last few weeks uh, in the run-up or in the lead up to latest pricing window no we had seen mm -hmm. a significant drop uh, to about 116 dollars per barrel now in the it's further dropped to 113 dollars per barrel and I say, Ghanaians are confused, Kakra, because um, definitely when the price of crude reduces, Sana, the ex refinery mm. price also should reduce slightly because of um, gains are Omaya as far as uh, purchasing crude near concern. And um, as an explanation now, the Abano Ghana for say, uh, Omaya confused, Kakra. Um, okay, my main threat, entry of you, because. The data I have, the price of crude for the last window of um, um, me, me that, that the last the, window, the middle of June. was what, yes was one hundred and twenty two okay. US dollars one two two point seven two yeah that was the price of crude per barrel mm -hmm. and this latest window that we are now seeing a a, a, a different pricing regime. A one two one point seven seven, so and yes, significant from one two two to one two one. But I know, okay. I know, I know, will not be a true reflection of what the world market price is because um, before this particular pricing window, no, um, now mm -hmm. a worldwide figure will be around one hundred and sixteen for Brent and one thirteen for WTI. So now, well, I'm, I'm I'm speaking from the data that my uh, planning department regularly supplies. Okay, with. very well. There was department well. that monitors this, and then so when you look at the the, uh, the newspapers, we even publish the price indicators okay. every day. We are publishing you know, and mm -hmm. to share a you know, of the papers in front of you, either find that time graphic, uh, chronicle. You would see that we publish the price indicators. Okay. As it is on the world market, uh -huh. so and that is the same thing I have in front of me here. Okay. And okay. it is uh, what is it called? The changes were not that significant. But I'm okay. saying that yeah. we observed that there was a slight drop. Okay. And that slight drop ordinarily should occasion a slight drop at the pump. That's right. But like I explained, mm. and uh, uh, permit me to really do more of the English and the cheese. Okay. Because I, I, I find a little comfort there. Okay, this yes, uh, um, 
change does not reflect at the pump because apart from the price out there, there are other variables that also add up in the determination. Mm. That's why I mentioned the issue of the forex too. And the issue of forex has a significant and immediate impact, even that the price of the product on the international market. So mm -hmm. when the two don't fall together, and one falls and one rises, particularly if the price on the international market uh, are falls, and then this one, uh, what is called the forex rises, it could take away the expected gain at the pump. Mm -hmm. But in this particular instance, at least fortunately for us, the CD has been fairly stable, mm. even though marginally depreciated, not too significant. But okay. I am I'm saying that there are so many variables that go into the determination of the price. A lot of that, time, and Kendall, as we speak, if you probably could even speak to these OMCs, mm. particularly those who are having the pump stations and selling across, a lot of them currently are making losses. Okay. A lot of them are making losses. Most are even just breaking even because they don't want to get out of business. Because the cost of the product regularly is going up. And to be able to maintain your customers, you need to price at a certain level. And that is where I think deregulation has even helped us so well in this particular instance. Okay. Because the competition, the prices usually were determined by the MPA. And the people who come and say that, look, the prices are not good, and then my margins are going down, I'm not getting anything in return, so please increase my margin for me. Just like labor would come to government and say that, look, things are not good, increase minimum wage, and then government will rush and increase. So MPA used to increase the, determine the margins that the uh, OMCs were supposed to get in return for their investment. But since the deregulation, it is now they are, they, are, they are in their hands to determine how much they should charge their margin. And because of the competition, they are careful not to be able to charge because everybody looks mostly up to oil. Mm. If you sell beyond oil, you might not get a, a, a customer. And I think the regulation has been a certain check on the prices at which it should have been going, up, particularly on the level of their margin. So I just wanted to say that it is not straightforward that when crude comes down automatically it comes because a lot of the products that we consume in ghana are finished products and when you always check on the world market the finished product their pricing are also different yeah. from the crude yeah. uh -huh. so you see oil uh, diesel is different gas is different petrol is different if it was that we we're having all the products actually refined in ghana then that is where we probably should be expecting a certain trigger but we are not having the refinery in Ghana. And even with the refineries that we have in Ghana here, the capacity that they produce, at best, they can meet about 40% of our needs. Mohammed, so that's the dynamics here. Mohamed Abdul Kudus, uh, Medassi Anopay, for joining us on the Happy Morning Show. Thank you, Medassi.